my my. <laughs> uh, cool down a lot, that's for sure. I uh, was cleaning up all that broken glass today. <laughs> God damn it. I was having such a rage quit. Oh, it's so nice to be out right now. They say it's going to rain on the morrow, I reckon. Might be tonight. Getting real on the cloudy side. Um, yeah, it was 33 degs today in the sea. And uh, humid ass. And considering my... Um, Yes. <laughs> well, the other night I was just having a rage quit. I don't know. I was drunk as all shit and just slagging off whoever. And I was, I made a bunch of videos. Who knows what was going on? And um, I, uh, I think I uploaded something just slagging people off. And then uh, I, I don't know. The next day I was looking like, man, come on. <laughs> I just deleted that. I'm surprised I haven't been removed from YouTube. To be honest, <laughs> sometimes I just go way overboard. And that was one of those moments. Oh my. I drank a bottle of vodka, a bottle of red wine, and a bunch of beers, and for some strange reason. Uh, here I am sitting on the computer, as I often do, you know. It's such a worldly thing, that thing. <laughs> so I, for some, somehow, I know not how, um, I don't know, I must have fallen over the chair, stood up and just fallen over the chair or something like that. I, I don't know, there's like 4 o'clock in the morning or something, 5 o'clock, who knows. And uh, all of a sudden I'm flipping backwards over the, the chair and boom, um, head straight through the the sliding door window. <laughs> it's one of those, um, what do you call that type of glass? You can't sort of see through it. Um, the top sections, like see through glass, and then the bottom sections. It's like you're having like a, a shower, a shower window, something like that. And, uh, yeah, all of a sudden I'm, hey, I'm outside. <laughs> you know? And, um, Actually, I couldn't really see much because uh, there was this. I went through that window, with the head, back of the head, and um, and through the flywire screen. Hang on, let me just go take a slash. And I, I would go over there and sort my back out on that thing over there, but hang on, let me just go take a slash, and we'll get back to the story. <laughs> Ah, oh, I swear it's the the temperature. It's wonderful right now. That cooler thing that I've got in there, wonderful too. Oh yeah, because the air conditioner. <laughs> I've got a, a um, glass door that ain't there, kind of thing. So <laughs> uh, didn't exactly air condition the place, so um, I turned that off and just kept the cooler going and just for days and the, I don't know, days and a day, I don't know. Ugh, thank the gods I have my um, my shop vac. And so I was doing that. But yeah, I must have been having a pretty serious rager, you know. Just an angry rant or something and wanted to feel too happy and shit. I, I swear I nearly quickened the gathering highlanded my myself. Um, I believe it was the the drape and the curtain that uh, made certain that the Kurgan didn't have a go. <laughs> they didn't win. <laughs> oh my. Because my neck was um, rested upon this like U shape of um, like these, these uh, you know, Everest points on either side and this U shape. And my, head, my neck was sort of embedded into that uh, this way. I had like an hour and a half <laughs> to get to this place but we'll see I think I've got plenty of time oh that's 7-eleven or down the road will tell me what time it is um but yeah I'd, I went way overboard I lost a few subscribers to <laughs> some people were too happy but you know I've been shadow banned and all that stuff and a lot of this sort of catalyst of all that anyways it ticked me off 
uh, I believe that everyone deserves a, you know, the, the right to a free speech and say whatever they like. And sometimes, you know, you, you go a bit overboard, have a bit of a rager, get a bit ticked off about things. It happens. It even happens to me. <laughs> but yeah, I, uh, so surprising. Actually, I told three people today what had happened. Just laugh and sounds like that. Oh, get there, because uh, it means uh, please take care, you know. And um, so they found it quite amusing. I did hear at that point when I went through the window. Um, <laughs> oh, now I'm outside. <laughs> well, I stayed inside for the most part. You know, I didn't sort of go out on a rager or anything. I just stayed inside for the most part yes. <laughs> until that occasion. But yeah. I, Ambulance drivers would have found me with no head. Um, I was shocked that uh, I didn't receive even the slightest cut from that. I do think that, that a few things got lucky. Um, the formulation of my head, <laughs> uh, go down that way, I guess. Um, the formulation of my head made that sort of circular kind of thing and boom but you know it definitely is going to be the curtain that and the, the drape thing the very thin light drape that saved me uh, yeah. <laughs> well i'm gonna to have to figure out a way to get that fixed i'm thinking what i might do when i get all that shit off the back of the rig burn all that and then i'll i'll uh take that door off i'll find a, a glazier or whatever they call themselves and and then um, just take it down to them and see what they can do about that. Uh, I might put a temporary piece of perspex or something there. Sadly, um, there were pieces of perspex uh, at the just at the back of the warehouse, and and uh, there was like a hundred of them, and all at least like twenty bucks each kind of thing. Yeah, like huge things that were. Anyways, uh, I'm not going to apologise for my actions. I mean, when you, you've got such a boot full of, of vodka in you, um, you know, it's just the way it is, man. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, lucky I had the shop back just sitting outside. Every now and, I, now and then I bring it in, do everything. Um, but uh, what I managed to do is, I figure what I'll do is I'll open up the shop back, do, do the inside first, which is just sort of granules and dangerous glass, and then I'll chuck all the, I'll open up the shop back, and it's got a big filter and all that in it. And, um, other filtery thing. Take that out, chuck all the big pieces in there, Knock, knock a few um, to make them small enough to get in the, in, in the, the, the bucket of the shop vac. And then when I went to put the the, uh, the motor back on, it wouldn't fit because it's too much. <laughs> I'm like, oh! So improvised. Got a um, a box and taped all that up. Chucked in the back of the rig, poured all that in, and then went around vacuuming the outside concrete and all that. So. Did a pretty good job of that. Um, yeah, the step would be to find a glazier. Uh, I'll get her out of it. Uh, I'm no glass guy. I do have a glass cutter and all that, but I don't know. I'm no glass guy. What do you use to like silicon or something? Or when you in place it, I don't know. Those blokes know their thing. Ugh. I can't say I'm thoroughly pleased with myself but the mission right now is um some of the keys on my i doubt it's a cyber attack i <laughs> think some of the keys on my um keyboard aren't working i'm thinking oh maybe i need to update drivers or the driver problem or maybe i need to restore to an earlier time or something like that and it doesn't really have that option on on my unit and and um <laughs> and then it occurred to me 
up about a few hours. Um, the, the, it was quite isolated, the, um, the keys that weren't working correctly. Like you press something, you press like a T or something, and it had come up with three letters and symbols of close, close to that region of the keyboard. So I went over every key and I found there's a central kind of area where they're all stuffed. <laughs> and, um, so I figure I must have um, spilled a whole bunch of booze uh, in that region of that and maybe electrically it's kind of electrolysis itself. Yeah. Yeah, something like that. Um, through electrolysis. Uh, um, what's that word where you heat transfers and stuff transfer whatever I don't know what I'm talking about but anyway so I found out that the uh, I'll go to find out what the time is at the mini star boo mini star boo shoo -ba -doo -ah. advertisements never affected me oh, <laughs> right now, um I've got too late So yeah, I believe it's um, it's a, a case of accidentally spilling a whole bunch of booze on, on the keyboard itself. Hopefully this is the case. There's a big um, best dinky down there, like a best buy or something. Um, so that, that's the plan. Hopefully that will solve the issue. If not, I'm going to have to do some recovery bulldust and then... Uh, upload all kinds of happy things or whatever, god damn it. Most of it's in Japanese. Uh, what a hassle, man. It's a bit of a hassle. Alright, let me go and see what the pipe is. Da -da -da. Uh, but yeah, I'm not exactly too pleased with myself. I mean, just I create these problems create problems for myself. Quarter past seven, we're three quarters of an hour, I think we're good. Right. Oh. Oh. Yeah, in creating this problem for myself. I seem to be good at that. <laughs> if there's ever an area of expertise I have, it's um, hurting myself. <laughs> I don't know why. I can't understand it. Um. Right, getting closer to the shopping district. Uh, that's that big bayon or whatever the hell they call that. Um, uh, department -y store thing. This is the uh, Shiok Show. Which one's the big one? Kuyakshu, Chiyakshu, something like that. Uh, which is a, the board office. Yeah. Authoritarian stuff sorted out there. Yeah, red tape. Um, yeah, I was just thinking um, years ago, I, uh, I ended up I was sitting on this computer, obviously drinking a bunch of booze and and I threw up all over my keyboard and everywhere, <laughs> just all of a sudden. And so the next day or whenever later, I uh, ended up with a toothbrush and I'm taking off all these keys and I'm thinking, shit, you know. Because <laughs> I didn't know how much a keyboard was. And I'm... Anyways, um, so I'm cleaning a bunch of keys and then it occurred to me, due to my grandiose intelligence, ah. Uh, I don't actually remember where all the keys go. <laughs> Quirty. Uh, so that was. Yes, <laughs> that that was that. <laughs> hey, I'm not the only one to do that. God, what a what a lump of stupid that was. Okay, now this is called the Kudai Gakken. Uh, train station, Kudagakin Toshi Eki, something like that. Eki meaning station. 
train station, you see. Alright, now what we can do, I know there's a bank down there, and the locale where I'm going is over there. We should be there in about 10 minutes. And if I, I believe, I should be able to pull off this mission. Possibly. <laughs> oh. It's going to be close. The thing is, I don't rightly remember how much a keyboard is. Before Clown World, things were really cheap, like 10 bucks. Yeah, you got one. Um, here's me uh, spending all day cleaning spew and trying to figure out this goddamn where all the buttons go. <laughs> only, to, only to find out back in the day you could get a keyboard for 10 bucks. Genius level stupid. That's that's where I'm at. Yeah, there we go. It's, uh, what's known as the Kudai Gakken Toshi Station. Yes. Back in the day, you used to just leave your bicycles wherever, and now you've got to pay for it and all that. <laughs> Reminds me of um, not so long ago, I I reclaimed my bicycle. I found it. it was in, it was right where I left it for months. I was just, yeah, I generally leave it only in like one or two locations if I'm going to go out or something like that, go into town or whatever, and I'll go and pick up the bicycle on another day. Um, only to realise that I figured it must have been ripped off, which is a rarity, and uh, in this land at least. And then I was like, yeah, oh, she. <laughs> so, uh, I, uh, I stumbled bum my way around the, the, the township for a couple of months only to finally I, I was looking like this way and then I glance over like that and boom there it was right there I couldn't believe my good fortune on that one All right, now in there, there's an access into that big supermarket-y thing. And down here, there's um, the, uh, the best dinky. Dinky meaning electronics. Um, so yeah, that, that station, uh, the Kudai Gakin, uh, that means like the University of Kyushu or it's one of their campuses or something I don't know I never went to university <laughs> um, obviously <laughs> yeah, those are groovy reeks stay away from them they, don't they burst into flames I can't believe that joint's still going strong. That's one of those pachinko joints. Don't go into them. There you go. I've been in there like three times, just put in like five bucks. Within seconds, it was gone every time. Yeah. And there's a little impact golf studio to teaching golf techniques. So that's what they're doing in there. Isn't that right? Remember years back, there were these three Japanese girls, and we're in uh, the, the city of city town. Where's me? Oh, no, Bundaberg in Queensland, Australia. And I took them to play golf, and uh, they had never been on a real golf course ever. <laughs> they were good; <laughs> they could play all right, but um, never been on it. Only on driving ranges. It's a wonderful game. Yes. So, and it can be very frustrating too <laughs> but it's a wonderful game years ago some bloke slagged it off and I'm thinking oh uh, yeah golf's awesome especially you, you get some mates together and some golf buggies and uh, you know in Australia you can you can go drink a bunch of booze and um, and travel around uh, on, on your golf buggies <laughs> <laughs> and uh, go smash up derbies. Um, no, uh, no, no, we didn't wreck them. But it's a lot of fun. Yeah, golf is huge in this land. 
Uh, what? But the real golf courses are quite expensive, I hear tell. In fact, I, I met a girl, she was a... A mate and I met this girl years ago and she was a golf caddy at the uh, near near where the warehouse is. What is that, eh? Yeah, that's not a bad job. Oh, there it is. Best. Okay, let's, let's get this. Let's get this thing rocking. Cut. Uh, air conditioning. <laughs> oh. That's okay. Aircon, mate. Aircon. Located. Oh, uh, got, got a lot to choose from. <laughs> hey, did I get any cheaper? God damn it. Oh, that's Bluetooth. We don't want that. I don't even know how that Bluetooth thing works. Oh, God, I'm not Bluetooth thing. We want USB. Oh, I'm no techie guy. How come they're so freaking expensive? Some of them are not so bad. God damn it. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, I found what I need. Oh, what a transfer from the air conditioned building in there. <laughs> and uh, it's out here. Yeah, um, yeah, I'm thank you. <laughs> uh, there's a number of these shops um, called Yuma, and this one, uh, being best dinky. Um, right, I found one that has a, a reasonable price, so that's good. Right down on the bottom of the shelf. <laughs> I want one that's um, quite illu illuminative, illumin illuminated. Yes, so. And I found one that's USB because I understand that sort of plug-in thing and uh, your drivers you might have to get those sorted out but I think because of the isolated region that um, uh, I was just about to mention I've got 27 minutes so we're good there's a 7-eleven just here and there's one just across the road I could use their ATM um, Although, there's a Fukuoka bank up here, so you don't pay less in fees. Um, yeah. Oh, I just left that out. <laughs> um, kind of stumble bum my way in there. So here we have it. Okay, so I've located one that would be, um, sufficient. And yeah, I do believe that it's just... Due to, due to my theory of the isolated area of the keyboard, I would say that um, it's to do with some drunken bum, some drunken stumble bum that um, ended up putting his head through a, a window accidentally um, backwards and nearly guillotined himself. Um, I swear it looked like a guillotine. Shit. <laughs> That was a that was a close call that one. Um, I believe that there must have been some some liquid courage that ended up all over in that just that region of the keyboard. I'm banking on that. Uh, that's not the case. Uh, I might have to do a. Well, I was hoping to do a restore back to a certain date. For some strange reason. Um. Doesn't. Maybe I have to set up a date prior and then then you've got the date set and then yeah I'll give that a go on the morrow I'll probably forget but say I'll get around it and I just don't but I'll give that a whirl strange um I can be such an asshole sometimes but um um like the girl at the counter there I was just saying oh you close late don't you and she said yeah and I just in Japanese I was saying oh, I'm gonna head over to the Fukuoka Bang and um Right, I'm just yeah. I just do silly things like chuk, chuk, I'll be back. And, uh, they like that sort of shit. It's funny. They're getting to the end of their shift, tired, but they get to have a good laugh anyway. I can, I can be really funny sometimes. Yeah. But Jekyll and Hyde, God. But yeah, this time, 
I'm pretty, I'm pretty lucky that I, I didn't, um, I didn't slice my freaking head off. <laughs> like landing on all that glass, just in the U shape on my neck. And I head through it, straight on the back of neck. Yeah, that was a, that was a bit of a close call that one. I, I think that an ambulance crew would <laughs> have discovered me laying out the back <laughs> and um, that would have been the end of it anyway. soldier on as they say I don't get ashamed of myself anymore don't give a shit really I mean a few days later I just forget anyways <laughs> Exy used to call me bird head take three steps and forget <laughs> that's true always been like that some proclivity to uh to um access that kind of those neurons of the mind <laughs> i think that just uh, designed myself to forget things yeah i think that's probably what happened a very young age oh maybe fury is um sort of a what do you call it a psychological response yeah I don't know all right let's go and do this Cut. right then back in the game okay now uh, yeah I think they call it a, a self-defense mechanism <laughs> I think that's what my brain must have developed no, well, I'm not ashamed of it Sounds like we're back in Brooklyn. Warriors, <laughs> come out to play now. Oh, it is wonderful to be able to go for a bit of a walkie poos. There's some wind. Uh, this time of year, it's just starting to get into that cool down phase uh, in the night. But yeah, it still was 33. Um, we'll get rains and wind. The windy season. Where is that past? I don't know. I swear I just stayed indoors for the most part for like a uh, couple of months. I swear I didn't do anything. Just didn't do anything. Uh, I don't know, sometimes it feels like that. Just the world has gone in such a poor condition of shit, it just doesn't deserve me. <laughs> oh. So I just, just didn't want to go anywhere. You know, I didn't want to talk to anyone. And I'm quite the, the, the gregarious chap. Right. Uh, I'm just, I don't know, when summer time, and winter's the same. Yeah, you, you hit winter time in this joint, but Buddha, <laughs> I tell ya. Uh, oh. Well, I'm gonna have to fix that freaking window <laughs> before winter, <laughs> that's, a, that's at least something's gotta be done. Ugh, not bad. Um, hold on, I need to go and get my frickin' keyboard. Yeah, yeah it truly is a, a wonderful when it just starts to cool down because when it gets dreary and this this area I mean there's a lot of water beach over there you know um, countryside blah blahs and so far far less vehicles and, and air conditioners and, and all that and far more access to a breeze too lesser buildings and all that this is built up it's true but um, this is not where I generally Rome, um, but yeah, it's much, much cooler. Temperature difference is way different than what it is in town. It's true. And even still, it gets ghastly. I 
guy. <laughs> so, uh, and I'm thinking, oh, I'll find a glass guy, talk to him. So I need the computery thing to find a glass guy. I'll probably use the laptopy thing. Um, and then Google Translate that, find someone in this region. You know, I like having no candle and shit, but I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I know of a place where I could get something to just board it up and that'd be, that'd be that. <laughs> uh, if that has to be done, it has to be done. Yeah. You know, I do like fixing my own shit, but in this land, you, you can't. You can't get by on your own. No way. <laughs> and dropped his scoop. Fuck! Oh shit! There's a, there's a ledge there. Okay, now we go. Like that there. Temper. Oh, hang on. There's a on the bike here over there. Oh, which may very well have a person. Uh, guy back there. At least he didn't put his head through. <laughs> Exactly what I'm looking for. And hopefully. Oh, there's no fucking no place to put your, your freaking. Yeah, all right. Usually they've got a spot where you can chuck your your gummies. If I had no principles at all, I'd just. If it's somewhere, we'll, we'll sort that out. <sighs> Let's get back into the air conditionnesses. <laughs> no one's watching this shit anyways, but if anyone is, look, I'm not ashamed of just getting whacked out of my skull and, you know, Night Rider. Uh, okay. Sometimes it's medicine, man. The shit I've had to put up in my life. Right, let's go and do it. Here we go, 15 bucks. And it works on all these different thingies and this is USB, so which is what I wanted. And this is the uh, the brand is Yamada Select. Now they uh, Yamada uh, like Yamada Denki which is um don't know why they're selling here. <laughs> this is, uh, aren't these rivals? Um Yamada Select is uh like you've got your your best dinky dudes there and you've got your other dudes or whatever and some different dudes I'll just get rid of this over there somewhere um, oh it's too far let's go here um, so Yamada Select is a it's an off brand really a, a cheap brand but very cheap and so you know, they make like washing machines and all kinds of things. And they're not considered the Toshibas and the Hitachis of the world. No one gives a shit about this story. But, they're cheap. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Some of those rigs were like 50. They were hovering around 30, 40, 50 bucks. And some of them were like 100 bucks. I'm like, ah. Um, but I did have three keyboards in the warehouse a while back and I figured because I want a, a light colored one so I can see the bloody thing um, so I think I must have just uh, given all those electronics away to a friend that picks up does hiking kai shoes so he uh, makes money out of all kinds of all manner of stuff but I got those for free and they would have been only about 10 bucks anyway so but there you go. And the old mantra that I've always kept and always failed is uh, you, you don't give tools away. No. <laughs> don't give tools away. I guess unless you've got like five, the same one that's going to last forever. Don't give tools away. <laughs> 
Right, let's go in here. Come. Ah, that's better. Uh, is this the one? Rugby World Cup France 2023. There's still a France uh, official beer. Asahi Super Dry. Who knows how they didn't put Asahi there? Oh, there it is right there. Yeah. Asahi Super Dry. I seem to drink this in when the, it starts to cool down, and I drink the Kirin when it's really hot. Hang on. Sure, show my age in the 7 Eleven Ikibu. Mm. I mean, there's uh, this piped in elevator music, and, and um, they've got these computer y things now that you, you plug your money into. Um, I guess it, it's more efficient but less workers, I guess. I don't know. Anyways, um, so here I am, like. And if this world runs out of lovers, we'll still have. You know, I just start singing, and I'm, I know every freaking lyric of the song. And um, this young guy, he's, he's, he looks up, he's looking at me, and he, he, he realizes I know every single lyric to the song. And uh, as I'm plugging the money in this computer, <laughs> I go, oh, the band on my air, a band name is Starship. There you go. Yeah, uh, uh, they were a great band. Yeah, they were a great band. Ah, uh, uh, that's better. Now, plan is to head down here and uh, head back to the ranch, and hopefully. Things will be fine. Hopefully, uh, the computer -y thing will register the um, recognize the drivers of this this unit here, and uh, we'll be fine. <laughs> Maybe we won't be fine. Ugh. Well, I have been thinking about getting on a sober binge. Um, Talk about rain on the morrow, so I don't think I'll do much on the morrow. But um, there's this chap in this far flung land. There's actually a couple of chaps, and they're asking me about a few items. I'm like, yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll get around to it. Um, honestly, I just didn't want to go out anywhere, and I'm, I'm feeling like wonderful breeze right now. See those flags? Are, they're blowing away, so you can see. Uh, you know, you can see there's definitely some decent wind happening now. Oh, that is delightful. Actually, I don't know, man. I'm not really one for not really one for um, liking humidity. I can handle dry heat, but humidity. I mean, I can handle it, but shit. <laughs> living for anyway what's the goal here done everything I ever wanted to do right. so what's the goal birds give me the shits now, I'm not a poof though I don't want a prostitute because I don't believe in that <laughs> so I don't know I like like as you get older, you know, I'm not a complete hermit. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh. That's quite a popular arm and chop down. Oh, to be honest, I have no idea what freaking day it is. Is it Monday? What? I don't know, Sunday? I don't know, whatever. Ugh. Ugh. Hopefully we can get this bullshit sorted out. Freaking hate problems, man, you know? I'm a problem. <laughs> My whole life has been a problem. But I never wanted problems. 
you know, is um, bred to be a problem solver, you know, someone that machinery breaks down, you go in there and fix the shit. I don't want a fucking problem, you know? I don't want problems with any people, I don't want to go to war with anyone, I don't want to hate anyone. Sometimes I get a bit too um, ticked off because uh, I'm quite aware of the stuff that's going on in the world. Very aware of stuff that's going on in the world. So I've been studying this shit for decades. And uh, the shit I have seen, but God, you know. Seen that cannot be unseen, it just is obscene, you know. And it bothers me, doesn't it? It does. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I like how yeah, there's a chain on this thing. I was just about to make a joke, huh? I imagine you rip that off and melt him down, give it give it to the Hai Hinkashi guys and then I look over oh there's a there's a chain on it. <laughs> I, I don't go around stealing elephants, alright? It just doesn't happen. There's an u udon, is that right? Yeah, udon. Just I don't really eat that stuff. Um, I don't really eat that stuff because I don't find it to be like power food, you know? And I, I don't know, I don't eat much, but I eat that stuff and within like an hour or two I'm hungry again, it's not... I don't know, what is it, buckwheat or something? I don't know. Sushi roll, sushi roll, that's what that is. I think you can see all the sushis over there, see? I mean, they've got the works in this... In this, uh, I don't know. Um, they've got, they've got the works in this town, everything you need, there's a petrol station right there, there's one just further up the road right there, there's your Don Quixote, which is open till, I think that one's open till 3 in the morning, and there's a mega Don Quixote, they, they've got all kinds of imported goods and, and clothing, food, stuff, all kinds of things, and, and Japanese stuff, Chinese stuff, whatever. Rule of thumb, if they don't tell you how much you're paying for your fuel, go to somewhere where they do tell you how much you're paying for your fuel. That's a mini supermarket or something over there. Like one of those co-ops or something. But that Don, Don Quixote, that's... That, you get some serious bargains there. Uh, in this world of clown world, where everyone's just expected to earn the same freaking wage, salary or whatever but everything's just gone to just idiot level costs yeah and considering I don't earn a wage and never have um, it's been quite the quite the problematic era you know problematic era I was just checking that babe out oh, anyway no you've got everything everything here 24-7 restaurant up there. That's off to the Kyushu Daigaku. Ky big Kyushu University which is up on the hill up there. Beautiful area. And uh, further further over there's um, beautiful beach areas and all that. It's real nice. That's one. Of, that's actually a drug store. That's right. See, my Japanese is fantastic. <laughs> totally para para. I've never been in that one. It's the soft bank. Why? Whatever. That's um the mobile phone shop that I got my phone sorted out. The registration of it or whatever and then uh, a, a bloke up there he's got a little mobile phone repair service and he's a great bloke sometimes I just walk in there he might have some customers I'll just hand a beer on the counter <laughs> and he's been to Australia he, he you know, understands the Aussies um, ramen there um, 
never seen that happen. Um, and so, and, and I just sort of slide a beer across <laughs> on, the, on the counter and then turn around and walk away. <laughs> not for any, trying to grift or not for any reasons of, hey, uh, you know, give me a deal later on or whatever. No, sometimes I do that. He's a, he's a fun dude, that one. Yes. Speaks a little bit of English. Oh, oh shit. Oh, let's see if I can get this fucking thing to hold me get under my arm. So yeah, I really I like this town. It's, uh, that's, that's new, this apartment blocky thing. I like this town. There's a supermarket over there. That's a dinky one. Major ones over there, another dinky one over there. As I say, you, you've got everything here. I really like it. You can walk down the street without looking up and going, ah, oh, shit, I have to cross the road. Now they're saying that if you cross the road, that's racist. <laughs> oh, I see. Well, you know, in my country, when I was very young, you didn't have to do that. But later on, when I got into my teenage years, uh, for some strange reason, you did have to cross the fucking road. You did get mugged and bashed and punched and all kinds of shit. Oh yes. But hey, you know, based upon my life experience, is right. I have formulated certain opinions. Got some groovy sort of restaurant thing over there. It's sort of new and it's really, really. Famous. It's very, very popular. Oh, yeah. It's uh, something drag on ramen. It's sort of old school style, isn't it? So I presume it wouldn't be thoroughly expensive. I used to eat, eat here with absolute regularity, not just this one and another one. Uh, but then I kind of asked a mate to find out where the rice was obtained from after some things, a tragic thing happened and uh, it was just suggested not to eat that rice anymore. Um, which I, uh, I'm sympathetic. To, the, to that. See, so this is a lovely river all the way down to the, to the shore, man. It's great. Here's the old bowling alley. I went in there a while back and found they had some awesome pool tables, like really, really good ones. Yeah, it's a, some Niku restaurant or a meat restaurant. Did I even say restaurant? Correctly, rest restaurant. <laughs> I wonder if that joint's open up again. It looks like that. Ah. It's delightful. It's can, like, as you tell, that like, there's plenty of people out and about because it's like, oh. Thankfully, you <laughs> can get out of the, out of, well, it's like to get out of your, to be able to get out of your place, you know, and go for a bit of a walkie poos. This town's called Imajuku. So, um, you've got like, you know, you've got some industry over there, you've got farming lands over there, you've got a beach over there, you got your, train station thing there too fast too furious and uh you know your new apartment building blocks and all that shit coming up so um i i reckon that people just keep moving in and because because i'm here <laughs> being a famous person or infamous yeah see this is uh yeah this bowling joint is uh 
I think I just went in there one day and just had a bit of a walkie poos. You've got your karaoke booths there, you've got your bowling there, and I recall they had some pretty cool, um, some pretty cool pool tables, and that one sort of a separate room for some really awesome pool tables. So, so yeah, bowl, bowling, karaoke. I don't know if they. I'm gonna ask them. Yes, that's what I know. Yes, I'll use the best of my Nihongo. I can sneak up there right now. As soon as I walk in the fucking door, they piss off. <laughs> we can have a look. Yeah, surely we can have a look. Or is that breaking and entering? Hang on. Ah, so much. Ah, so many. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Ah, 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 yeah, Zutamaya means a long time ago. Um, they had some, they had some really cool, um, had some really cool um, billiard tables there. In this kind of separate room. Zutamaya, Kokoni, uh, long time ago. Koko here, knees like in. Uh, Billiardo no. Table, I am a billiard table. Are demo zutto mai. Ima, I must think. Ima, now I must think. Oh, I must go. Oh, no, 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 no. So, yeah, this is black cats. Um, one of their distribution centers. It's a center up there. <laughs> Mini distribution center. I haven't had that stuff in years, man. The old KFC. I found that sometimes I might like once every five years or something I might get some of that stuff. But once again I proved to myself that um I don't feel good after eating that stuff. I'm serious, that's not a slag off of our shit food. Um, in the Western world, it's just a fact. It's shit. <laughs> and I uh, actually, I don't know, months ago, I was on a walkie poos, and I, I was just curious due to um, Clown World and um, how much everything costs these days. I was curious as to see if these uh, major fast food restaurants have really increased their prices at, at all. And uh, I was quite shocked at the how expensive it is now um, I do so I heard tell years ago that Macadies had um, they uh, were actually failing uh, in Japan you know um, and they kind of revamped their their style making it try to look like more of a coffee shop kind of image um, yeah, they, uh, this KFC stuff is really, really expensive you know, for what for what you get. But uh, yeah, I have so I haven't had that in a while. Uh, I don't know. I might have had a go at it like, eight years ago or something like that. <laughs> some dude is like, no one watches my channel anymore. Anyways, no one gives a shit. But some some. Like American Aussie might be like, you got, you know, you haven't had KFC in eight years. 
I haven't had McShit. I haven't had McDonald's since about 04. Yeah, roughly. 05? 06. 04, 05. Some gotta be something like that. That joint's awesome. World liquor system. Oh yeah. They sell um really awesome um Danish potato chips <laughs> and all kinds of like one that you can get like one litre cans of beer from Germany stuff like that it's, uh, it's all right and the prices are really good all kinds of different you know, whiskies and all that bullshit Yeah, you'll find this, um, that some of these convenience stores, for instance, um, um, you'll find that some of these places, um, some of these, uh, ATM machines, uh, won't allow you to access funding on, say, a, at one stage it was Thursday nights, Friday nights, or Saturday nights. Maybe even Sunday night. Oh, shit, I can't remember. Um, after nine o'clock, with the major, with the, like the major bank around here for Crocker Bank, uh, which is what people generally use. Um, so it's like, ah, <laughs> but you can get stuck, you know. So be careful that if you come to this place. Um, the credit card things will work. Visa will work. Um, I've got a um, this Visa debit card. So, I uh, sometimes I, I might be stumble bumming my way, it might be three o'clock in the morning, and I'm like, man, I can't get any any more beer. Um, oh, oh, as I'm having a stumble bum, I'm trying to oh, trying to carry this bloody thing at the same time. Um, as I'm having a bit of a stumble bum, right? Bum fight still coming, and um, and so. Sometimes I'm absolutely <laughs> drunkenly delighted <laughs> to find that uh, my debit card has actually got some dough on it and that'll work 24-7. Yeah, so just be aware of, of that. They're, they're difficult to get. Um, you've got to go through all this convoluted stuff and you're trying to plug in your info and and um, they want it in Katakana, your name. and. And it just goes all wonky poos and god damn it, the shit you gotta go through. So you need to ask someone to, one of the honor bound to come and fix all that shit. So it's really, that's another uh, supermarket trial there. They've got good prices. Um, they, uh, it can be quite frustrating to get things done as a, as a savage, a foreign savage, a gaijin savage. But yeah, I've got one of those. It was um, once known as Japan Net Bank, and obviously, what do they do? They go ahead and change shit again, you know, to this pay pay thing. And there's all these kind of convoluted ways of being able to pay for stuff these days, right? And I don't want any more of this techo shit. No. There actually was a small pool hall here that we found on the net thing, but we came. Battery ran out, didn't it? I've got my secondary one. Ah, I'm gonna call this video The Keyboard Warrior Lives. <laughs> Let's grab this energy drink and continue, shall we? Uh, so I think that's a, um, a hairdressing salon that's been around for just like ever. Real cute. Right now, that 
this great big abandoned apartment block that was stood here, stood around here for freaking years, man. And I was thinking squatting there would be pretty rare. <laughs> there you go, you got the Haruka Classic Ballet. Yeah. Ballet, that's some beautiful stuff, isn't it? See a few in the window now. Hey, it's beautiful stuff. Oh, I should rock in the end time. Hey, I'm a <laughs> I'm a ballet person. <laughs> Alright. Heading, um, heading toward, um, heading toward the, uh, the ranch. It's not what I might do, because I'm so thoroughly enjoying this, this breeze. You know, talk about cabin fever. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. Didn't want to go out in that tell you when I was out there cleaning up all that vacuuming and brooming sweeping um sweep the leg um <laughs> I uh I was just just all the sweat pouring off me I'm like shit what we got here Asian relaxation what was that must be some kind of ah here it is it's not untoward, I don't think. It's, um, this bird massages you. Hey, isn't that greedy? <laughs> I, uh, this, this old girlfriend of mine, she used to massage me all the time. And, uh, a few of them over the years have massaged me. That, that's a good way of putting me to sleep <laughs> god the pain mate the pain but these days um like actually i was i was in this other town and um i could see in the window this place it was like that but um it was a proper proper i mean it, it was more of a medical um medically inclined kind of kind of thing you know for um people recovering from injuries and stuff like that and i was thinking shit you know um that that would be really awesome but I personally think but I don't know if that's a good idea because something might just go snap and it has oh, pouring beer on my brand new box now <laughs> get it back to the range and I've got beer all over it <laughs> I don't fucking work um, so um yeah like a number of times number of times one in the breastplate bone here that snapped quite a number of times and uh One of the major injuries I suffered right near my spine, uh, up top, the, the one up top, as in, with, as in, which is different from the, the other two oh, down below to the right. Uh, that that snapped a bunch of times too. Shit. That went on for a couple of years, and. Uh, Nishi Nippon Bank, that one. There's a couple of major banks here, and there's the Fukuoka Bank just up there. Just, just for your offering, if you, if you ever were to um, want to spend time in this land, they're, they're very good. Now, um, yeah, you know, this freaking injury just snapping, snapping, snapping. I'm sort of worried that if I had some kind of medical kind of 
sports related massage type of thing and I just worry that something just might go bang again because they, they kind of press against each other and I feel it right now so uh, when, I, when I've had a boot full of this and other stuff kind of should stay away from hard alcohol to be honest um, I uh, I kind of um, don't feel too bad but right, let's hop into this mini stop just up here yeah. I know they've got a seat out waiting outside for me ah uh. barbecue chair out the back of the old mini stop this is the smoking section that's what they got oh isn't that bloke's open right now the iphone fast fix store that surprises me it's got to be like what, 8 30 or so now or more i've been babbling on for ages oh i haven't had wages in ages i have to get off my ass and do at least some work some stage. Oh, that's better. I'd go over and say hello and um, give him a beer. But, um, looks like he's got a late night customer that's probably got a serious problem if they're coming along at this time of night. Yeah, I gave him a whole bunch of these um, uh, iPhone 3s over the years. I, I collected about eight of them. Every time one would shit itself, I'd take out the memory cardy thing and whack it in another one. And, so I ended up with about eight of them. It turns out they were quite popular. For some, I don't know, for whatever reason. Yeah. He was quite pleased with that. He keeps them on his shelf. A whole stack of them. I don't know if he's still got his surfboard in there. kick back and finish this one off and then um crack that one uh, it's quite convenient a delightful breeze i expect will ensue down here oh. that wasn't the uh the greatest of ideas um back there I figured I'll just pound this beer and I've got the other one in the back pocket <laughs> quickly ran to the fence out the back there. <sighs> I haven't exactly eaten anything for a while a few days maybe I don't know. so um That didn't feel too good. <laughs> At least it wasn't a big mess. It was just um, just a bit of watery beer. That's all. It's not like I haven't thrown up before. <laughs> oh. Remember that movie with Nicolas Cage when he went to Las Vegas? <laughs> yeah, um, is it called Leaving Las Vegas? Is that right? Great movie. Here he is, <laughs> driving along, and the cop looks in his window, and, and, and yeah, he puts his bottle of puts his bottle of vodka down here, and he's and he's, uh, and he's laughing, you know. Well, I don't drink it, so. Don't worry about that. Um, oh, the breeze! There you go. Ooh, that's better. The keyboard warrior lives. In. 
Oh, that delightful breeze. Yeah. It truly is something when you're experiencing that, that humidity, man. Damn. Knocks you around. Whew. I'll take another swig of this with that going. Blah. <laughs> Fishing going on here. Nope, maybe. maybe. <laughs> Got a slice of bread and some cheese back at the ranch. So I think that's going to have to be. <laughs> Anyone that's um, felt the, the ghastly humidity Appreciate this this wind. Oh, nice. There's a video I made up the other day. It just remind me of this. Then a hero came along. This girl was sitting here for her and she told me she was there for an hour trying to get a bike to start. She totally flooded it. And then a hero came. came along and, and got it started and it, was, it, was, it had a kick start and it, it, I think it had a battery starter too but that was flat and, and then uh, <laughs> should have seen her face and light up when when I when it fired over eventually it took me quite a while to get it going Jeez. I treated it like a two-stroke really in the end it started to tick me off so I just cracked the throttle wide open Boom, and it went boom, and flame came out of flame trees, man, straight out of the exhaust. God, and her face just lit up. And it was nighttime too. But um, we just sat there smoking cigarettes and said, "Oh, we would just need to wait for it to because like, it's flooded and let that fuel dry and give it another go." Because uh, it took me like four times to get the bastard to go. Quite tiring. Yeah, that reminded me of a recent video I put up of this, um, and then a ranger came along. Yeah, because these, um, the, call them the climate change people are, were kind of off kilter in such a way that they were sort of trying to talk to the, like, they're basically attacking the base, you know, just a lot of them, the people that do the, the burning man thing, are, you know, really sort of drugged up. Lefties, <laughs> but, you know. But, but I reckon the uh, Bernie Man would be a lot of fun, very artistic, and all that. Yeah, yeah. Shit, no, I'd do it. It'd be a lot of fun. Um, they kick you out of you, you're based. Uh, 
Uh, yeah, but I'm in the Mad Max. Okay. <laughs> anyway, um, so it turns out, yeah, yeah, my opinion was that um, those who decided to sit on the road and uh, block everyone, was, uh, well, they didn't exactly drag that trailer out there, you know, utilizing their physicality. I reckon they drove it out there. <laughs> so, um, they, they, here they are, just stop oil. And they drive out there <laughs> to leave the trailer there in front of everyone. Hello? <laughs> McFly! Anyways. So it turns out that it was flooded out. How about that? An absolutely rare occurrence that is, isn't it? Yeah, what do they have, three days of rain or something? Someone died apparently. Yeah. Three days of freaking rain there. It rained out. The whole event was cancelled. A pity, because that would be fun. Right. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't enjoy doing that. I was watching another video recently. I think it was it might have been in Holland, Dutchy land. Um, these three young people sitting, just sitting blatantly on the freeway <laughs> on the freeway and this bloke drives up he's, he's trying to, you know, they're impeding his way he's like he gets out yeah, here's a word of caution for you if something happens and you do get out take your keys out of the ignition because you might have some shit bags some shit bag. just waiting uh, to, to jump in the rig seen it before some drug addicts tried to do it to me in Australia. It's been uh, distracting my rig, making it look like she's been hit, sort of thing. Just a distraction. The drug addict worker is walking around in a pincer mood. And uh, I, I know shit, right? So I just look over and I go, <laughs> You've got a window down there. Good work. She just smiled and But yeah, that area right there is well known for drug addicts. Yeah, I think
Um, so this this young bloke, he um, picks up a boot too. Young he walks up to these these uh. Decided, hey, you know, safety first. Okay, don't listen to me. It's just to do as I say. No, no. Um, safety first. Uh, get off the road. I'll make you get off the road. <laughs> so, he just grabs one of them. He just starts dragging him off the road. That's fair enough. And another one of them gets up. And you put the, the most pathetic martial arts performance. <laughs> <laughs> Martial arts starter pack um, that I've ever seen. I mean, you know, not exactly intimidating. <laughs> I can tell you. Uh, he, 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 um, he like goes to make like some some moves just to sort of intimidation, although because they follow a path of um, uh, you know, passive resistance. And um, God, I know everything. Don't I? Anyways. Um, and so, <laughs> this, 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 this young influenced kid, he's, uh, you know, he, he, he goes to shape up this bloke with these <laughs> pathetic looking moves. It kind of resembled Kung Fu, but in a comedic way. Yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. That they had no chance against this bloke, and because a lot of people were just ticked off about it. You know, imagine if some of them actually you did not notice them or something. You got your head down, you're just trying to plug your bloody phone. And you just run over one of these, one of these young clowns, you know. And you end up with tail. Teaching them the wrong shit. Like 
slaughter fucking 7.5 billion people, you know, because the planet can't sustain itself. So I'm like, mate, you're like 80. Why don't you volunteer first? <laughs> volunteer yourself, you bastard. I know I'm banging on about the breeze, but boy. The last couple of months. The breeze, the breeze. I'm shooting the university. Probably about two.
the other bloke got a big chunk of change too apparently he said oh yeah I've got some dough now so that's yeah, how's that eh just come out with a hit song just like that and just go <laughs> well, try that in Japan and see how far you make it out of here try that in Japan plagiarize that song stuff. What else have I been watching in uh, recent times? Because it's your duck up. Um, uh, recent times uh, I've been, uh, I don't go near the horrific shit anymore, the crazy shit that I go all the NYC or anything, I don't, I don't look at any of that horrific shit. I just click through those, I don't even click on those, I just, you know, I'm not, I've had enough of that. Uh, I've had my belly full of that. Um, but I like that. I like the funny stuff. You know, Twenty people have a, a shittier day than you. <laughs> and some of the stupid stuff. But sadly, a lot of them. That's the end. They, they they don't see the next day. But a lot of them are really funny and stupid and funny. You know, just yeah. But a lot of them do the Darwin Award. Yeah, it's a pity. But you can learn a lot from that stuff. You know? You really can. Like, I'm about to come up to a, a road right now. The train station. Uh, the train about to go by. And, and uh, I know where to... It's coming out of the tunnel. Uh, I know where to stand in a certain position on a road near poles or whatever that looks strong enough. You know? Not oh, where we I'm coming there. Right? Um, I know where to stand, not that I knew which direction the train was coming from. Uh, <laughs> you know, and the positioning of where you stand. What? Just simplistic stuff like that. Or um, eye contact with a, you know, with a truck driver, so he knows you're there. Uh, positioning yourself uh, at a certain distance and therefore the truck driver can see over the cab, right? to see you, you know, so just thousands and thousands of shit, I just did it automatically, so here, this pole, cars are coming that way, some are coming from this direction, but the car there would, would get me before I'd notice these ones, you know, stuff like that, in fact I, I went across this road one time, and uh, there was a young guy on a scooter and he didn't have a light on, he didn't have a light, he didn't have a headlight, and it was really dark at that time. And um, it was around over there or something, and I was just sort of waltzing across the road, and I just happened to go, oh shit, I was having a few drinky boos. But he might have had a few drinky boos too. And uh, that was, that was a avoidance mode, avoidance mode engaged. <laughs> yeah, it's true. Like, I'm walking across the tracks here. I don't step in the gully of it. I step just over it. Just, it's just automatic. But like these things, when they come down, sometimes you don't notice them, and boom! And you, if you're in a car park or something like that, and they whack you on the freaking noggin. You know, I've seen loads of that shit. So, websites like that can, can yeah, they can really educate people on the concepts of safety. Like uh, being around electricity, or or um, and standing in a field in a thunderstorm, a lightning storm, and you know, seeing scenes of six blokes uh, in in some wherever people country, and then they all, they all just get you know the they're in <laughs> standing by the highest thing in in the region, and um, boom, and the lightning just knocks them all out, kills them all. You know, I've seen loads of that sort of shit. Loads. Yeah. I could go through the archives of my brain, just decades of this stuff, and, just, and also the life experience shit that I've seen. It's just... It's a freaking... It's a... It's a... It's the kind of library that whoever's want to burn down in France. <laughs> Mine. Ooh, hot. 
take my things. Um, but yeah, all that gore and shit, I just flip through those. The, the stupid porn stuff, I flip through that. You know, some of them might have some good looking chicks. I don't want to have a perp on that bird. But uh, essentially, I watch the stuff that's, that's funny. That's sort of, you see these, you see people doing all kinds of silly. <laughs> and some of it's. Some of it's clean and good and safe and even educational, if you could think of that, you know. Um, some dude might pour way too much petrol on a fire or something like that. Or um, be uh, abusing fireworks. <laughs> abusing. Yeah, not utilizing fireworks in a safe manner and now uh, find themselves. Find themselves. Um, or a worm, he's gonna die, I could chuck him over there, but no, he's about to extinguish. Um, no, I don't mean that dude, I mean a real worm that was on the bitch. Um, anyways. yeah, you, you see, like, just reels and reels and reels of thousands of these videos. You know, like, um, 20 years ago, I'd be on Ogrish. And they changed that to live leak, and I'd be in the in the message boards, and people would be sending each other like um <laughs> the most vile. <laughs> that was one of the users' names. Um, that just we'd be sending each other shit. I, I didn't send crazy shit to them, but they I'd be on the list to do this. It just they just like nah, but you nah. I mean, come on. And some of the things I saw, God, this, yeah, some of it was freaking hilarious to be honest, but in a in a, in a ghoulish way, um, yeah, uh, compassionately ghoulish, ghoulish way. You know, I'm so glad to be able to just go and walk out, go for a. Just, just a rant, just a, an exercise, a rant. Yeah, I might, might have to um, undertake the um, the carnivore diet. <laughs> Cause look, I'll eat meat and like do what lions do and, and walk their territory. <laughs> eh? but, but, uh, learn from hungry fat chick. Grab that stool, sit on it, cook up tremendous amounts of food, <laughs> and then call it a diet, a, a weight loss journey, and uh, exercise. It's um, going into the bathroom, sitting down on some chair that can support those. <laughs> <laughs> of such a build and then and then uh, get the tools like the washing self tools that, that people like that need <laughs> weight loss journey granted I have my vices too I do but sometimes Um, yeah. I haven't done it for a while, but back in the day, I would walk just all night. Sometimes I'd get back like 10 o'clock the next day or something. Just all night walking, going to pit stops to get these, and uh, I've, I've walked. To exhaustion, and it collapse. Just boom. Oh yes, that's true. Well, don't kill you. It makes you stronger. But you know, full headitudes here. Um, I didn't. I'm not. I'm not there with a the flag saying, uh, you know, desist with oil. 
say no to oil, stop oil, oil, or whatever the slogan is. Um, no, I'm just laying in the middle of the road because I'm a, I just passed out. <laughs> or I find myself on some on, on some walkway of a bridge. <laughs> Wake up, like. <laughs> Sometimes dudes will come over. Are you okay? I'm like, <laughs> Walk to exhaustion. But admittedly, I have I have hit the deck a few times. And, uh, slammed my head in the walls and shit as I'm going down. God. Uh, in fact, I've got a. <laughs> they painted the building where I'm, I'm residing, and there's a um. Yeah, a mark of blood from my right elbow as I tried to stop myself from like totally getting hurt as I was going down. <laughs> and the bookshelf's got <laughs> this hole in it from from my as I was I was collapsed and boom, and just everything went to shit. Oh. Back at the ranch. Let's see if we can get this freaking computery thing sorted out. Hopefully it's just a matter of ripping that one off, chucking this one in. Hopefully that computer thing will recognize it and if not, yeah. Oh let's go for another walk. <laughs> oh, uh, mate Chappy there, he's, he's got his car in the shop so they've given him another car for I was able to get out there, clean it all up, and get the flywire door on because it's still some mini mosquito. I think it's mosquito season over, but still some are trying. So at least that happened. <laughs> all right. It's all wrong. Yeah, Houston, we have liftoff. <laughs> there we go. Ah, da -da 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 -da. Here we freaking go, mate. There we go. So the, that one works now. Good, because you know, I'd hit that one, and then it'd come up with give me that one too, <laughs> and then that one, and that one, and that one. Back in the game, the game. Come. Oh, let me just try to clarify something. <laughs> Ronnie Mac. I'm gonna have to check out what he's got. <laughs> The streets of Philadelphia. Oh, not near that is. Mark Dice, he's red. I think that this teacher here was um, forced uh, to accept certain aspects. I'm going to check it out. I may be wrong. Forced to accept certain aspects that he didn't believe in. And so he decided, hey, and he just goes, all right, well, how about I start doing that? <laughs> and they couldn't fire him. No. Anyways. Um, right, so, I like so um, okay. <laughs> yeah, oh, I love this stuff. Anyways, um, let me just clarify that um, down here, I have, if you look down there, it should say J. And I change that with um, this fancy pants thing here. Yeah, like that. And um, I changed the, the language settings. Well, I've got this one here. I can change language settings. And um, so what that effectively does is I can change between Japanese and English, and some some of all the Japanese Englishy thing. And I can um, so this is thoroughly different. There's your Japanese. You change the thingy. So. And therefore, certain things uh, work. Um, or casino action. I refresh you. Hey, <laughs> eh? all kinds of silly people I like to watch. Um, so, what do we got here? Uh, I might have to set up. Oh, yeah, there we go. Neon gold. That'll do the neon gold thing. And then we can change that back to English. Okay. 
Okay. Good. Um, cut the count in here again. Let's go right here. Yeah. Buttons, you know, gonna get it back to England. Yeah. Now, um, what do we got here? Right, there's English. There's, uh, I can change the shift. Okay, I can change that to Japanese. If I wanted to use some kanji, which will take some times. And back to English. And I've got katakana. Then you've got katakana. Here I got a real manji. So, alright. I uh, might have to do something with the settings for um, so I can switch between English and hang on, you know, oh, there you go. All right, uh, yeah, I'm gonna go here. Oh, that's it. All right, so that says ENG English, and then I go hit that one, you know, hit that one, and then I, I've got Japanese. What do you call that? The, 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 that. Right, which um, sometimes the system won't work for certain things, certain websites, blah blah blahs, all that kind of bizzo. So we are back in the back in the game. Um, the old keyboards over there, not exactly looking as clean as this one. <laughs> in the worlds before monkey, primal chaos reigned. Heaven sought order, but the phoenix can fly only when its feathers are grown. Oh, slight more clarification. Um, with this particular problem, I was um, able to figure that uh, in this region here, they were they were the buttons that were starting to play up. I press something, and they'd just give me like I press. U or I and it, or U and it give me U I O or I press I and it give me I O U. <laughs> so this region of the keyboard um, was giving problems. So I just had to um, problematize and diagnostics lease um, of going. You know what? When I was like totally wasted drunk, I still don't have a. Um, I uh, must have spilled booze all over this region here. So thankfully, uh, fixing that for fourteen bucks, fifteen bucks, I think it was. Um, I didn't have to go and um, try to uh, restore to a certain time, or I didn't have to um, uh, reboot. Oh, it's no reboot. I'm just just cleanse everything and go over again because then I'd lose all these programs, which I. I've got to reconfigure and uh, God, whether it be iTunes or whatever it might be um, to reconfigure a whole bunch of stuff again so um, I'm pleased that uh, that's not the case <laughs> so good, good, good Elemental forces caused the egg to hatch from it then came a stone monkey the nature of monkey was irrepressible 